Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrganicSpirit.com. This video is dedicated to my friend Rosemary Brown from Canada. We will make this fortune pouch created by Francesco Mancini, a stylish alternative to a fortune cookie. This is how the fortune pouch works. We open it like this, write a message, place a candy, close again, and use it to decorate a dinner party table. We will be making a pouch with monocolored paper and with duocolored paper. So, to make this pouch, we need a rectangle, and this is a very special rectangle. It's called the silver rectangle. I will demonstrate first how to make these rectangles from a square and from other rectangles. We can begin with the squares like this, about 3 by 3 inches. For the demonstration we use a larger square. Fold this diagonal. Then we are going to bring this edge to align with that diagonal line. We are going to create a fold that goes across here, passing through this point, and we are bringing this point to this point. We open. This rectangle is a silver rectangle, exactly what we need. But we don't want these folds here. So this piece of paper is going to be a template to cut other rectangles. So we keep it folded like this. We insert a piece of paper, another square, then we roll and match here, right there. Then we can cut. And this is the perfect rectangle to do our pouch. And here is the template for a smaller square. Also, we can cut a letter size paper into a silver rectangle. This is 8.5 by 11 inch. We take 3 quarters of an inch off the longest side. We then have the same proportion as A4, which is European letter size paper. So this rectangle is the same in proportion, but a little smaller in size. We proceed to fold it in a half both ways. And then we fold it in quarters. We need to cut along those folds and we will have pieces of paper to make fortune pouches about this size. A4 paper will give us slightly bigger rectangles for the pouches. We will make the monocolor first. If we happen to have duocolor paper, we are going to start on the white side of the paper. We fold in a half, rotate, and we bring this edge to the center.
open, rotate, and repeat. Now we are going to bring this edge over to this, but we are going to mark the fold only from this intersection out and from this intersection out. This is all the folding we need. Now we're going to grab it from here and from here and bring both sides together. The right flaps will cover the left flaps, but here we are going to switch one. The left will be on top of the right one, and here the right is on top of the left one. Now we have these two little flaps that are triangular. We are going to bring them over the edge in order to lock it. Then we can open, insert our candy here and reclose. Now we make the duo color one. We can use regular office paper of different colors, print a nice black and white pattern on it to create a duo color effect. Like this. To make the duo color pouch, we repeat the process as with the monocolor paper. And when we arrive to this point, we turn the paper over and we are going to create a fold that goes from this central point out to the right. And we are going to bring this edge to match this fold. Going to rotate and repeat on the opposite side. Turn the paper over, grab again from the central area and bring the flaps together. And this we are going to bring the one underneath and put it on top. This edge will be covered by this flap and this edge will be covered by this one. Now it's party time. Thank you. This is Leila Torres of origamispirit.com.